today I'm going to be doing my June favorites video and honestly I cannot believe that the month of June is almost over like it's probably gonna be over when I post this video and I literally just feel like the month didn't even happen like my summer is over you guys I am moving and leaving for college next week and I feel like June did not even happen seriously it went by so fast oh my god but it happened it was here and it was a great month so I hope you guys had an amazing month of June um, so many things are about to change in my life so just craziness but um, I'm pre filming like a bunch of videos for my move and everything like that but um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the products and other random stuff that I was loving in June so I am just going to go ahead and get started with my makeup products that I was loving alright so First thing I've been loving is a new product to me that I first got to try out this month and it's the Benefits new um, Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. I had to look at it for a minute. First of all, can we have a, uh, a minute for the packaging? It's so, so adorable. Like, But what else would you expect from Benefit? They have the best packaging ever. So this is coming out sometime in July and you guys should definitely check it out if you're looking for a new primer. I love it because it's in stick form and you literally just like rub it on your face. It's so quick and easy and it really does help keep my foundation on and I've been absolutely loving this. Next thing is probably going to be no surprise to you guys. I've talked about this product so much. I don't remember if it was in my last favorites video but it's my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous foundation and I've still been using this every single day and loving it. I don't feel like it's too heavy for summer. I feel like it literally feels like there's nothing on my face. I said feel a lot in that sentence. But um, it's just awesome. I really find myself using such um, a less amount of concealer because this covers up everything I needed to. But it feels so light and natural and I just love it. I love the finish. It lasts all day for me and it has SPF 20 so that's great for the summertime. Alright next I have got an eyeliner and this is an eyeliner that a subscriber actually either gave to me or sent to me in my PO box. I can't remember but thank you if you're watching this because I really love this eyeliner and it's the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Kohl Kahal um, however you say that, eyeliner in nude. And it's a nude eyeliner, obviously. It's on the shade nude. And I love putting this on my waterline. I have it on right now. I just did a tutorial where I use this. I use, like, all of the products I'm talking about, actually, in my tutorial. So that'll either be up before or after this video. I don't know yet. But um, I love this. It really, I think, gives, like, a bright-eyed effect to my eyes. And I love putting it on my waterline. And um, I used a one from Tarte for a while that I really liked. But this one is from the drugstore. And it's literally the exact same thing and so much cheaper so if you are one of those people that kind of likes the more like wide-eyed effects than like black eyeliner on your waterliner what on your waterliner waterliner <laughs> okay um waterline then you should check this out because it's really really good next I have a blush that this is basically the only brush I bl brush <laughs> blush oh my gosh I always do that blush and brush okay um this is the only blush I I think that I brought with me on my trip to Chicago and this is just the blush that I've been reaching for I use this again in the tutorial that I filmed I filmed an everyday tutorial and I've just been reaching for this so much it's Benefit Coralista it is absolutely beautiful I'm wearing it right now I love it um it smells amazing it lasts all day I I don't know what I was doing without this blush it's probably like my number one blush favorite in the entire universe so next thing is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette again this is I think the only eyeshadows I brought or maybe I this is the only eyeshadows I used on my trip to Chicago which was like a six day trip so this is like all I needed it's literally everything you could want in a palette basically I love it again I used it in the tutorial I just filmed and I just find myself like only reaching for this palette like I actually need to use my other eyeshadows because I only use this palette if you haven't checked this out I would highly highly recommend it I can't get enough of it and it's great for travel because it is so tiny and it's like everything you need I have another eyeliner favorite and this is um, a little sample but I really really think I'm going to be picking this up in the full size it is drying out on me this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and it's just a uh, felt tip liquid eyeliner and I have been loving this I've been loving lining my upper lash line and winging it out it works so 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 great for that it's very thin and precise and black and 
I haven't found a, I haven't been in love with a liquid liner in so long that I can remember. Just like this one is the perfect one for me. The brush is the perfect size. It's just like very easy to use for me. So I have been really, really liking this for doing winged liner and I am excited to purchase this in the full size. And my last makeup product that I've been loving this month, so obsessed with this, is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I don't remember when I got this. I think it was sometime in May. It's this really, really tiny, it looks like a travel size mascara and the brush on it is so, so, so small. But this mascara, oh my gosh, I've heard people talk about it for, before and I am so glad I got it. Um, it's just it's just amazing for your bottom lashes like it's better than it's specifically for your bottom lashes I don't use it on my top lashes and it just works so so great for them I don't know I love it it's ten dollars I really think it's worth it um, it's not annoying for me at all to put on like to use two different mascaras um, it doesn't take any more time really and this just works so great and I love I'm one of those people that loves putting mascara on my lower lashes I think it really like helps them stand out um, so this one is just awesome alright so as I said that's it for makeup so now on to other beauty products first thing is a nail polish and it is Essie's in the cabana I love this color it is such a beautiful unique blue color I wore this for probably like two weeks this month again wore it while I was in Chicago wore it to my meetup got a few compliments on it I absolutely love this color I think it's such a pretty blue oh my gosh I have bikini so teeny on my nails right now this is another one of my favorites I cannot I love Essie's colors more than anything I think they have the best colors not necessarily the greatest formulation but I still love Essie and their color selection like never fails to amaze me so in the cabana I also have a hair product this month that's fairly new to me I ordered this probably like um, sometime in May and after just hearing so many beauty gurus talk about it I was like I need to try this hair product it is the Chi Silk Infusion and I got the six fluid ounce one I think I got it off of Amazon I don't remember but I got it wherever it was like cheapest to get this much and I absolutely love this it smells like a man but I love that it smells really good like men's cologne but I really really like the smell <laughs> like I would date a boy that smell like this it smells so freaking good what you do with this is basically you put it in your damp hair and, and it just kind of like helps to soften everything just like makes your hair soft and shiny and all that good stuff it's a silk reconstructing complex so it really does work good it makes my hair seriously so soft and helps with frizz and everything like that and as I said it smells amazing so I've been really liking this product and this month I have been especially enjoying curling my hair just kind of like how I have it now in these loose waves and what I use is I've talked about this product so much but it's just the Remington um, large I think it's the T-Studio T-Studio curling iron it's like $25 to $30 so inexpensive you do not need to spend a lot of money on a curling iron seriously I've had this for like two years and it's lasted me amazingly I don't know how it hasn't broken down I use it so much and I love it so much so if you're wondering how I do my curls and what I use this is what I use and I do plan on doing a tutorial like an updated everyday curls tutorial using this I actually already have one from last year but um, I plan on doing an updated one soon. If you're looking for a curling iron, you can knock around with this one. They have it in a smaller size as well if you want tighter curls. But I personally really, really like this one and like the um, loose kind of like waves, loose curls look. Another thing I've been loving this month and I actually just finished it up is this candle. I literally just finished it up today. It's First Bloom from Bath & Body Works. Um, and it smells so good. It literally just like made my whole room smell so like fresh like flowers. It's a really clean scent. It's not too overpowering. It's something that you would really want your room or your house I think to smell like. It's just I feel like it's a scent that appeals to many people and it's just a great scent. And the, the color of it and the packaging is so cute. It matched my room nicely. I really enjoyed this candle this month so I'm sad that I used it up. Um, I hope they still sell this because I feel like this is more of a spring scent. So I really hope that they're still selling this one because I, I kind of want to get my hands on more. Candles are very addicting to me so love that. And then as for fashion favorites, I don't have really any clothing to show you, but basically if you look at my Instagram, you can just tell that I've shockingly still been loving circle skirts. And based on the hauls I've done recently, I mean just crop tops, high-waisted shorts, and circle skirts is basically all that I've been wearing this summer. So I've been loving that stuff, and especially like Topshop. I went there like 
four times when I was in Chicago. That store just makes me so happy. It's literally just so my style. So Topshop, I guess, is a June favorite. I can't wait to be close to one in LA. I'm so excited. Um, and other than that, just these shoes, I had to show you them again because I've shown them before. I just find myself wearing these so much. Like my white tennis shoes from Target that are like $10. Um, they're amazing. They're the Massimo brand. I actually have two of these because they get kind of dirty easily, but I found out that if you just throw them in the washer, they get super clean again. Like, these ones were disgusting. And, um, I think I, like, these are the ones I wore in Chicago and I got them so gross. And I just washed them and they, they basically, I mean, they're a little bit still dirty, but they basically look fine. Um, so I'm just going to start washing them because, you know, they're white, but they're amazing. I find just they go so good with, like, the circle skirts and I wear and stuff like that and I don't know I just I never have been into shoes like this before but like this spring and summer it's all I wear is little tennis shoes whatever I don't know are tennis shoes I guess is what they're called I don't know they need like a specific name for these shoes because they're so in right now but yeah I can't get enough of these all right so those are all the like beauty fashion things I've been loving this month and as I have started doing in my videos I'm going to have a list of everything in the description box with links to everything that I just talked about if you are interested and want to check them out for yourself. Now I'm going to move on to my random favorites so I have four food favorites this month and I'm really excited to talk to you guys about them all. So the first couple ones are from Trader Joe's so I will first start off with these little cashew packets. So these are called the Trader Joe's Just a Handful of 50% Less Salt Roasted and Salted Whole Cashews. A very long, complicated name, but why I love these so much is because these are little cashew packets, and it's like a perfect little serving size, how much you're supposed to eat. There's 13 little packs in, it's like, it's a big bag with a bunch of little bags in it. They have these, I think, in like all different types of like nuts. My favorite nuts are, this is sounding kind of dirty, my favorite nuts are cashews. I freaking love them. I think they taste so good, a lot better than peanuts. I love cashews and I love pistachios most. Um, those are my favorite nuts. I don't really like all, why am I talking about this? This is so random, but basically I just love these and if you like cashews, you know, it's really easy to like throw it in your purse or just ha to have as a nice healthy snack because they are good for you and definitely check out the ones. I think these ones taste great and they're like the 50% less salt ones. Um, the only ingredients are cashews, rice bran oil, and salt. So, if you have a Trader Joe's and you like cashews, check these out. I don't know why I've been liking them so much, but I just have. Another favorite I've been loving from Trader Joe's, I went there, me and Megan went there together like last weekend or something, and we got like a bunch of really good, like mostly healthy food, because I'm really trying to start eating a little bit healthier, because eating bad is not doing me any good. <laughs> so I'm really trying to start eating, not like all healthy, but mostly healthy just like a lot better than on than before but why am I saying that okay because this isn't even healthy okay this isn't healthy but um I had to try this because I've heard so much about the Trader Joe's cookie butter this has been my guilty pleasure but I eat it with like apples and stuff okay so it's not that bad the description of this is a deliciously unusual spread reminiscent of gingerbread and made with crushed biscuits so it definitely has that gingerbread taste but it's not like overpowering it's very good and like creamy and like just it tastes so good I don't know I really think like anyone would like this um everyone in my family I've been like try this out it's so good and they've really liked it so check this out if you have a Trader Joe's and you like sweet things because this has been like this has been like my dessert thing that I've been having and I need to like stop because it's addicting but it's very good a couple other food favorites I've been loving I got these at Trader Joe's as well but I think you can get these at any grocery store they're the laughing cow little cheese wedges and these are the light creamy Swiss ones they have 35 calories per wedge and they're really really good I like to spread these on um, multi-grain crackers or like pita chips or gluten I really like gluten free pretzels I wish I could show you those but we like ate them all so just kind of stuff like that when I want like just a little snack I'll have a wedge of these with something and they taste really good so I've been loving those and my last thing that I've been loving are these frozen Greek yogurt bars and this is like a really really good um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say healthy, but I would say definitely like better for you dessert to have. My mom said she just got these at Kroger, so I'm pretty sure you can get them at like most grocery stores. Um, but they're the brand Yasso, and they're just the frozen Greek yogurt bars. 
and um, they have 80 calories in one and 6 grams of protein in one. That's pretty good for something that tastes amazing. They really do taste so good. It just tastes like, tastes like an ice cream bar. Um, and these are the raspberry ones, but the blueberry ones we also have, and those are so good as well. I don't know if they have other flavors, but um, they're so, so, so good. And I'm looking at the ingredients here, and it's like, it's pretty good. Yeah, so I would highly recommend these. Like, I a really good dessert for under 100 calories that's made with Greek yogurt. I don't know. I just, they're really good. Um, so I'm obsessed with these and I'm definitely going to be like buying these and eating them like on my own when I'm living on my own in my apartment just like for dessert. These are going to be my thing. I'm very glad that my mom bought those because they're so good. So that's all my food favorites this month. If you guys have other like healthy but yummy food favorites that you want to recommend to me i would love if you would like tweet me them or leave them in the comments below because i would love to try it. especially stuff from trader joe's let me know because i'm gonna try to start like going there um because i'm definitely trying to get into more healthy eating just because it makes you feel so much better and i'm just trying to you know be a little bit healthier so yeah let me know if you have any other suggestions now onto my list on my phone um i have a couple just random favorites so if you want to like leave the video now you can leave. <laughs> but um, as for my other favorites of June, for music, I will link stuff in the description box. I really don't think I have that many. I had so many music favorites last month. Oh my god. But I probably just have a few favorites this month. Um, mainly I've been loving We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus. I really, really like that song. I love it. I love the music video. I'm definitely a fan of the song. I really like it. Um, and I'll link a couple other songs that I've been liking in the description box below because I can't even think of them right now. And other than that, um, as for movies, I've seen a ton of movies this month, but my favorite by far was um, Now You See Me, Oh My God, with Dave Franco. He was so beautiful in that movie, okay? He is my celebrity crush. I've decided he's so beautiful, but it was a really good movie. I want to see it again, actually. It was just... I just really enjoyed it. Um, and other than that, my other favorites from June is my Chicago trip that I took, and I had a meetup, so thank you so much if you came to the meetup, and it was just really great to see my friends, like, kind of one last time before a lot of us are, not one last time, but, like, before a ton of us are going to college. It was just great to hang out with them and be able to have a meetup and be in Chicago and just, like, it was a great trip. I'm, I just loved it. Um, I love the city of Chicago. I really want to come back, so or go back. <laughs> um, and other than that, um, a recent, more recent favorite. I went this week to a concert. It was a Kesha and Pitbull concert. And mainly, me. I went with me, my sister, and like four other girls. Um, two of her friends and two of my friends. And we mainly just all wanted to go and see Kesha. Um, but we actually had so much fun at the Pitbull portion of the concert because Kesha opened and Pitbull was the main act and we didn't, I don't know, like, I don't have anything against Pitbull, but I just never thought I would, like, go to a Pitbull concert and have a great time, but I did. So if you're, like, a Kesha fan, um, I think you should go because we had a great time. It was so much fun. I met some subscribers there, so if you saw me, thanks for saying hi. When Pitbull came on, it was, like, getting dark and everyone was just, like, jamming out. Like, we were just dancing the entire time I just had I had a great time I love concerts so much like I just I live for concerts so I do plan on going to a couple or a few more concerts I have them all on my calendar like in LA but um yeah concerts are super fun I think that's all my June favorites so I think I talked for like 30 minutes in this video shocking I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching my next favorites video is gonna be not from this bedroom so well, that's kind of sad but you know it'll be fine so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day or night and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye